There are questions about energy drinks and whether kids are being targeted. Concerns about safety led to a Senate hearing Wednesday. Across the board, makers of energy drinks say consistently that they do not market their products to children, Senator. Take a look at that cover. That's a 12-year-old boy on that cover. Sales of energy drinks are on the rise. They now bring in more than $8 billion a year. CBS News contributor Dr. David Agus is with us from Los Angeles. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Gail. What's the danger here? Well, I mean, the dangers are very clear. First of all, I have to applaud the Senate for doing this. But caffeine is safe. We've been doing it for over a thousand years, and it works. The problem is too much caffeine, especially in kids, causes a problem. You get cardiac arrhythmias, you get difficulty sleeping, difficulty concentrating, and it's caused 20,000 emergency room visits in 2011. And that's up dramatically from a couple of years before. The problem, and I think one of the major problems is, when you drink a cup of coffee, you drink it over an hour. And so it's a little bit of caffeine every couple of minutes. When you drink an energy drink, many times it's a shot that you do right away. That's a lot of caffeine at once, and the body can't handle that. So do we know how much caffeine is in the drinks? And is there such a thing as a safe amount of caffeine? Well, listen, uh, the, uh, unfortunately, the, it is not law that they may say how much caffeine is in the drinks. Some of them are starting to report it, but you really think a 12-year-old knows how to read a label and figure out how much caffeine is right for them? I certainly don't think so. Small amount of caffeine can improve performance. But when we just had these stories at the top of the hour about Major League Baseball, mm -hmm. and every sports fan is upset, and yet we're encouraging kids to take performance-enhancing drugs, which is what these drinks are. So we need to take a step back and say, should kids really be having caffeine at all? So what should be done? Are you looking for legislation to uh, pro provide a means that they cannot be bought by kids? Listen, uh, I, you know, we did it with tobacco, right? Children cannot buy tobacco, and it's obviously a very appropriate legislation. And I think the same thing needs to happen here, is that we need to take a step back and look at what we're doing as a society. And we're saying to a child, when you're tired, don't take a nap, drink a drink. When you've worked hard and it's time to go to bed and you want to do more, have a supplement so you can do more. That's not the right message, and it's harming kids as evidenced by these emergency room visits. And the best thing for kids to drink, water and milk always works, does it not, Dr. Agus? <laughs> no question about it. Eat real food, drink water and milk, That's and right. go to bed on time. All right. That's good advice at any age, actually. Thank you, Dr. David Agus.